happy days is the play for always. That's the thing about it. I suppose the secret of Beckett is that he has something in everything he writes that's kind of applicable to anyone who's watching it. So we're all, I suppose, bound by the restrictions of COVID. So we can all take something from the physical reality of Winnie buried up to her waist and then buried up to her neck. And everybody can identify with that sense of powerlessness. But for me, it's something way more specific and particularly at the moment in Ireland and everything that's in the news and how women have been treated in this country, being resilient against that and how they've survived, how we've survived. You know, you can't help but see a play where there is a woman held down by the same fabric that shelters her husband. The best thing about getting to do this play, I have to say, is to get the opportunity to spend all this time in the beautiful Olympia Theatre. That's the biggest advantage of COVID, actually, is to get to work in a space like this and spend so much time in a theatre like this. So it's been really quite difficult to rehearse. I mean, the actors aren't wearing masks when they're on stage, but... A lot of what happens in the room sort of happens instinctively. You know, the other side of that, of course, is we're the lucky few. We don't take that very lightly. We're very aware that we're really privileged to be here. So I think the best way to watch this online is to get rid of all distractions and, and watch it like you would listen to a piece of classical music because it's in the rhythm of the repetition. It's in the pauses. It's in the musicality of Beckett's language. You get the sense of a relationship between a husband and wife in the silence, in the huffs and puffs, in the pauses, and in the kind of repetition and irritation and short temper and joy. So I think you have to listen to it more like a piece of classical music than like a play.